Good evening, I'm Erica Bivens. Thanks for joining us. We saw nearly 10 inches of snow in some areas yesterday, which resulted, as you saw, in countless traffic accidents and delays. While things certainly look a lot better out there today, there is still some concern for those overnight hours. ABC 36's Justin Walker joining us now live in Lexington in our top story team coverage today with more on how those roads look right now. Justin, tell us what you've been seeing out there today, especially in some of those neighborhoods. Well, Erica, I'm now in the Blackford Oaks community. We know that crews basically improve the road conditions based on a three tier system. We know those major roads and highways take top priority because of the traffic volume, but it's neighborhoods like this that aren't seeing as much work now, but they will because crews will begin to work on these roads beginning tomorrow. Now, residents in these communities can expect to see that treatment efforts tomorrow. I visited Winchester and Haley Roads earlier today. Drivers are moving steadily now. Still, there's a lot of sludge and snow on some of those major roadways, which can cause slick conditions. Along I-64 and I-75, same scene. Traffic is flowing. There are a few stranded drivers and a few big trucks along some of those roads. So officials are asking people to slow down and to practice good winter driving techniques. Now, all the road conditions have improved. We know the warmth of the sun melted a lot of that snow, but tonight there's going to be freezing temperatures which could, which could re-ice those. So as you head out to your morning commute in the morning, you're encouraged to drive safe. For now, live in Lexington, Justin Walker for ABC 36 News. And good tips there. Thank you, Justin, for that. Of course, the city of Lexington also saying they plan to treat those neighborhoods tomorrow. We'll also take a look at the efforts to keep the roads clean in just a moment. But first, a lot of people today asking, how did those roads get so bad so quickly yesterday? For the scientific answer, we want to check back in now with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Andrews. We know so many of the roads were actually pre-treated hours, even days before the storm. It just wasn't a match for how quickly that snow came down out there. I know in my backyard, I measured nine inches on my deck, nine inches. Yeah, you kind of wonder uh, with all the traffic, how much of that treated mm -hmm. surface of the uh, the liquids that they were using, the products they were using was still on the ground. That's another angle to look at as well. But yeah, when you look at the snowfall totals, okay, this is historically, they didn't have the resources in 1943. We have now 13.4 inches of snow. We saw about 9.9, seven, seventh most highest amount in uh, history. All right, now here are the ingredients that kind of came together yesterday as to why we encountered what we did. All right, the jet stream tracked further across our area. The low pressure system was just to our north and west. Uh, that's typically where the heaviest snow is. It falls north and west of the low pressure system is what I meant. The snow ratio, it was of the wetter variety and it came down at such a rapid pace, one to two inches per hour. Thus, like you, you touched on, Erica, that it was just too fast, too much too soon. And as we know, those temperatures, when they drop tonight, that impacts the ability of those chemicals to do their job and then melt the ice and snow. That's something we'll be watching tonight as well. Thank you, Jeff, for that. Well, snow plow and salt truck drivers working tirelessly to try and just keep up with that increasingly dangerous weather condition. This was all during yesterday's record-breaking snowfall. ABC 36's Caitlin Shive spoke to some of those men and women on the front lines. The amount of snow that Lexington got on Thursday took many drivers by surprise, but snowplow and salt truck drivers say they did everything they could to prevent disaster and keep Kentuckians safe. But increasing weather and traffic that we saw only put road conditions out of their control. We were just seeing a lot of traffic because all the offices and other jobs were let go at around the same time. So that kind of um, put a jam in us being able to um, move as quickly as we could with the salt. Erin Dixon with Lexington Roads and Streets is one of only five women snowplow drivers with the department. She says crews work 12 hour shifts from 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. before switching with the night crew, putting salt down as early as 8 a.m. I think we um, handled it the best we could and I think we did a really good job with what we have. And Friday morning, crews were back at it, working on the roads all day long, and they will be at it overnight. In Burnside, Kentucky, the city had contracted only three snowplow drivers. Snow came quick. I mean, it was like uh, in six hours, we had over six inches, and uh, which there were a lot of traffic on the road, and they were just packing it in, and we weren't able to plow. Stephen Johnson with Johnson Landscaping was one of those contractors. He says they weren't able to clear the roads or put salt down until the snow stopped, which he says was about 11 p.m. 
I didn't notice any vehicles stranded or stuck. Maybe one I'd seen in the ditch, but uh, not like other places that you see um, that are stuck for hours. Road clearing there began Friday afternoon with hopes for warmer temperatures to help activate the salt. And that's something hoped for statewide. You still can have black ice patches in certain sections, um, especially if it's a sh shady area, there's not a lot of sunlight um, for a certain section, then black ice can certainly form quickly. Natasha Lacey with the Kentucky Department of Transportation says drivers are still being advised to stay inside for now. We have cleared a lot of routes at this time point and will continue to do so to make it as safe as for drivers as possible. Lacey also wants to remind the public that if you do see a snowplow out to allow them enough space for them to continue to do their job clearing the roads and highways. In Lexington, Caitlin Shive, ABC 36 News. All right, thank you, Caitlin. All that snow, not enough to stop college students from moving in at the University of Kentucky today ahead of the start of classes on Monday. Residence halls reopening at 9 this morning for the spring semester and will be open for new and returning students to move in all weekend. According to parents and students we talked to, even with the snow last night, travel to campus yesterday, not too difficult. Well, so far, it's been even with the snow. We're from Michigan, so it's, we're, we're used to the snow, we're used to the cold. Um, but this move in day has been pretty fluid so far, pretty organized. Um, we drive up, park right in front, we don't have any other competition, and we're getting this stuff in relatively fast. So I'm pretty impressed. No, it wasn't too bad, just a few hours, but it was good. Now, roads and walkways, you can see we're cleared on campus to make sure students and everyone were able to move in safely. While travel may have been treacherous yesterday, certainly wasn't all bad. A lot of folks getting to safely enjoy the snow. ABC 36's Annie Brown takes us to Clinton Road Park in Lexington, a popular spot for sledding on the hill at the old Shriners Hospital. School is out, there's plenty of snow on the ground, and you know what that means. It's what we were all excited for as kids, and maybe even still. It's a snow day. I love it. Snow days. Who doesn't love a snow day? I love a snow day. Give me a snow day any day. The hill at Clinton Road Park at the old Shriners Hospital is packed with kids and adults alike. For some, coming to sled on this hill is a tradition that goes way back. Best friends Mackenzie Bueller and Bailey Hancock say they've been coming to this hill every year for nearly 20 years. And this year, they're passing on the tradition, bringing Bueller's nephew this year. So we've literally been doing this since middle school, high school. We've grown up yeah. coming here. This year, they say they also plan to face their childhood sledding fears. There's a bump. I still remember. There's like a big heel over here that you would like be scared to go over. But this year, we're doing it. <laughs> if you're choosing to be outside in the snow, remember to stay warm and stay safe. I'll admit, I had to join in on the fun too. Reporting in Lexington, I'm Mandy Brown, ABC 36 News.